Hello, I am out for a walk at the moment because I've been at a desk all day ever since I got up, which was about half past eight this morning, and it is now four o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Anyway, we're going on a bit of a long car journey shortly, about a three hour drive. Our friend Tad, who we did a gig with the other day, he was playing guitar very well indeed, has invited us to stay at his place tonight, and we're going to go play a session at a pub that's not a million miles away from him. So I don't know how much that'll be able to film because I don't know people there <laughs> and uh, don't want to be rude and just say hi I'm Imogen put the camera on them you know uh, but anyway we'll see how we go with that so we've got quite a long drive been grazing on bits and bowls of food all day so I've been trying to get two vlogs up <laughs> in advance of going which I have now achieved so I haven't even stopped to eat properly I've just been posting banana and apple in my mouth and things and trying to edit and chew at the same time I haven't had any exercise all day hence I'm just cramming a little bit in now I've only got about 20 minutes tops then I've got to quickly pack an overnight bag and get ready to get out again. I've had a ridiculous week of going out every single evening right from Saturday and it is now Thursday and of course I'm going out again tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to have a night in then I'm going to be gigging again the next night so another night always people coming. Oh wow I'm sure they've seen the vloggers before. Um, what was I going to say? I had a night out last night yeah and my boyfriend joined me as well. We went to see Leverett. That's an English trio, a three-piece traditional English band with fiddle concertina and melodian and they were fabulous so i highly recommend them i'll put a picture of them there and i'll link their youtube channel below so you can check them out if you like and their website that sort of thing right i better stop talking to the camera in it there they go there they go they didn't say anything do you know i think i'd make a rubbish wildlife photographer there were some ducks and then they've relocated over there now but there were some ducks on this bank next to me now i thought i'll get my zoom lens on and i'll get a nice shot and they were like ah and they all took to the air and flocked up and flapped their wings vigorously to get as far away from me as possible basically. I'm definitely not stealthy enough. Oh well, never mind. No job with the BBC for me yet then. Flowers however do not run away and I've had a little bit of a theme, a few vlogs run in now, about bluebells because my dad taught me, if you missed those vlogs, he taught me how to identify the difference between Spanish and the native and I do believe we have got a prime example of the native which is bent over, look like that. I've noticed the Spanish ones have sort of grown in a big bunch and they've been upright but this is just just like one stalk with a droopy sort of single row of bluebells. Behold, now when you're out and about, at this time of year you can do some spotting and see which one's which. Oh, I've just spotted some more lurking. Look, I'm going to go around the bend quickly, see if I can zoom in on some baby cute lambs and then go back and get packed. Speaking of babies, look, ducklings. There is more than one, honestly. There's a mum and babies there. Cool, it's like a flotilla or something. Look at them all going down the canal. They're really spread out, actually. I thought they would be, like, all clumped together. I think they normally do, don't they? Maybe they get to a certain stage of development and start spreading out. I don't know. Well, I was hoping there would be lambs in that field there, yonder, and there are not. So I'm going to head back and pack an overnight bag. There's a lamb. I've got a lamb. This is as close as I can get to it though. Oh, hello, my pretty. We are on our way. Look, there's a viaduct there. We're crawling in traffic right now we're hungry well i'm hungry I've been grazing all day so we're contemplating that probably mcdonald's is going to be the only option really well it's the only one on route the only one on route and the yeah, only dude. one that's going to definitely be open and be relatively economical the other option Cheap is the quick. services kill that action we got digger action going on there we're in the van my bee's parked up in the drive through I'm just going in for a wee. <laughs> and he's buying me a meal. I don't think he's having anything, but I am. I am hungry. Okay, I've had my McWee. Where's the van? I'm having a cup of tea. We're just kind of parked up. I thought somebody was bringing us food, but they will be bringing us food in a minute. So I'm going to sit and drink some of this tea while I wait. It's There's my McPlant. There you go. <laughs> Lurking in there. Been on the road about two hours now, making good progress. Don't know where we are, but we're coming through here. <laughs> we're not too far away now. Uh, we're nearly there and we're going down a very, very bumpy lane that looks like this. Who would live in a house like this? Well, this is Tad's gaff. He's just gone out somewhere with IB a minute. I made a faux pas eating because Tad had actually cooked. Uh, so everyone's eaten and we're off down to the pub shortly. There's a dog running around somewhere who you will meet at some point called Jock. Where are we? Is this Abertivy? This is Abertivy cardigan. Oh. And I'm always the sesh. It is very pretty. It is very nice, yeah. Ooh. 
beached trad musicians. Oh, so, yes, yeah, I've yeah. been there. So, sort of lying, wallowing on the beach, sort of confusing uh, <laughs> the local <laughs> uh, <laughs> for them right here. And I don't think you have to pay. very much at the session last night. I always feel really awkward if I don't know the people at all so I didn't. I just enjoyed the evening instead and then after that we came back here to Tad's place and we played music so a couple from the pub came and then just us as well so we've got another friend here as well who doesn't appear on the vlogs and yeah we sat around the table and we played tunes until about I'm not quite sure what time but I think it was about two o'clock something like that two in the morning so I haven't had the most sleep must be honest. It's about quarter to nine now and we have got to head off pretty soon but I heard mention of coffee being made. Let me see if I can get the light on so I can show you where I have just slept for the night. There we go, I've been up in the loft space on this bed, brought our own bedding and um, sort of slept on top of that with my own bedding but getting sort of ready to go now, I need to have a wash and a cup of coffee. There were all sorts of interesting bits and bobs all over this house actually. And this is the most extraordinary bed isn't it, look at that, a very paint job on the back there. Come in to smell the coffee. Oh, I've been greeted by a hound. Hello, hound. If this spot stops you coming and attacking me in the night, say hello to the floor. This is Jock. So this is Jock is quite young. We'll ask Tad to remind us how young Jock is, but I think he's something like six months old, aren't he? Look at that's the vlog, that is. Oh, oh you'll set all the viewers' dogs off if you do that. They'll be rushing up to the telly or whatever they're being watched on. Oh. <laughs> All feeling very flexible yet today after that late night. Hi! Oh, oh I've been leaped on. <laughs> well, this is a good way to get woken up. You're going right the way around me in circles, are you? Morning, yeah, Ivy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the star of the show. Yeah. Jock, stop pouting for the camera. But if you're closer, oh, oh yeah, that is close. That Whoa! Is close. I think I'm going to have to clean the lens. That's just an empty oh, thing. I've been drinking that, yeah. water. I've actually got lens cleaners <laughs> because I, I have to do it with my glasses because he comes up and gives me a big wet kiss on the face. <laughs> and then I go and try and upholster something and it's, uh, it's a disaster. So, have you seen that over there? old-fashioned uh, the shopping list. Shopping. Oh, yeah. Hey, I need something like that. I've been thinking about making one. The household wants indicator. Yeah, it's only Flip been set it up like that for aesthetic reasons, but feel free to actually send me a list <laughs> the next time you come. I'll, I'll put all the vegetarian things on. What's hilarious is some of the things on there are just something that you would... I don't even buy some of those things anymore. Let's see. Well, dog biscuits is on there. Emery paper. What's borax. that? Borax. You wouldn't be having a lot of borax, really, these days, would you? No. No. I'm sure if you actually went wax. to the store and started asking for some of these items, pipe then, clay. There'd be like a government flag. Like <laughs> yeah. they're worried you're going to be making some sort of explosive or something. Yeah. 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 Salt so, Peter, which is MI5 sort of going. There's a chap in Wales buying borax. <laughs> Send our best chap. <laughs> the other one's waking up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jock's going to visit. <laughs> Now, I'm not very good at doing thin sliced things, I'm afraid. They are doorstops. <laughs> They'll also stop you going hungry. Sorting out some toast for us over there. What's cottage in? Is it Buthin? Buthin. Could well, be. Well, that might be because it's Bothy. I'll we'll fact check. Put it on the screen. Who wants things toasted? Mm, might be nice. Yes, please. Mm. Everyone for toast. Oh, that's a big thing of Marmite. Look at that. Listen, when you're out in the sticks, you've got to have like, serious quantities, you know. Um, what was I doing? Oh, my brain stopped you're, working. You're toasting us oh, yeah. toast. Yeah, There's yeah, a massive toaster over there. I'll put the door wedge bit at the back. Tad, they don't fit. <laughs> I want the whole slice. I don't want to cut it in half. I'll flip them round. The time has come to leave. I'm just grabbing my last bits. The bedding's gone in the van. We have drunk coffee. My hat's falling in front of my eyes. The 
dog is about to go out the front. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's raining now. Tad, I have one question for my viewers. How old is Jock's <laughs> dog? Uh, he's he's five five and a half months, uh -huh. I think. Something like that. Six. Five to six. So we are off. I got the dentist later. Yeah, so I think he's, he's, he's found a stick. Who are you? Come on, on in. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's come not going in. Come on, come on boy. Follow come me. On, come here. Good boy, come here. So you don't Good get boy. run over. <laughs> Bye, Tad. See you later. Bye. Safe travels. See you very soon. Okay. Right, just have to show you Tad's view from his front door because it's rather nice. Ta -da! Not bad, is it? Right, we have to go. I'm gonna hop in a van. Hopefully, I don't get run over by it. But, oh gosh, it's a bit tight, to be fair. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll wait till you've pulled out. The dog is in. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm gonna try and reverse into that gap. Bye. Uh... Coming through Krumach. We have stopped to get a drink. This is my reflection right now. We're very thirsty, so we're going here. We'll just get a can of pop or something. <laughs> nah, I'll just have a can of coke. Oof, got a price on those. Definitely missing those, I tell you what. Um, I'm fine, thank you. I was um, naughty over Easter, I ate too many cream eggs, but I've reined myself back in now. I couldn't help noticing cat milk. I presume that's not actually from milking cats. Anyway, we're gonna pay and go. I'm gonna have a nap when I get in, I'm absolutely shattered. I'm bypassing the junk. Well, she says holding a very rubbishy drink. It's half past 12 in the afternoon. We just got back in. I'm pretty tired. Apparently we went to bed at 2.30. So there we are. That'll be why I'm so tired because I set the alarm for 8.30 so it wasn't really enough sleep. Um, I got the dentist at 2.15 so I'm going to go and have my teeth looked at. I think I'm going to need a filling replaced because I don't know, it doesn't feel quite right. I think maybe tiny fragments of it have been coming out over the past months. So I'd be very surprised if I don't need anything doing, uh, but I'll find out about that. I'm going to try and have an, an hour in bed, I think. Try and sleep. I'm rubbish at falling asleep, but I am quite tired, so maybe I will actually nod off. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go to the dentist, and then I'm going to come back and practice. I'll probably eat at some point as well. And I want to practice and practice and practice, because I want to catch up with practicing, because I haven't really practiced in the house very much at all this week, so I've just been doing stuff in the evenings all the time instead. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. And if you did like it, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And here's a playlist of some other videos that I've made if you'd like to watch those. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>